Hello friends, welcome back to Inspire Maths. In the previous video, we studied what do we mean by continuity of a function at a point. The sketch of that is still here. Now in this video, we shall study when we say a function is not continuous at a point. More precisely, in this video, we shall study a removable discontinuity. And we shall also study how does the graph of a function look at a point where it has removable discontinuity. But before we shall start, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get a notification of recent post videos. So let's get started. Now in the previous video we studied that a function f is a function f defined in the neighborhood of A, the function should be defined in the neighborhood of A including at A is said to be continuous at the point A if limit x approach to A f x equals limit x sorry equals f of A. Now in order to understand what do we mean by saying a function is not continuous at a point or a function is discontinuous at a point let me split this definition into parts. So, a function defined in the neighborhood of is said to be continuous If the first part is now we see that the limit should first exist and then that limit should be equal to the function value at that point. Limit exists means the left hand limit and the right hand limit both should exist and should be equal. So here I will write the first one limit x approach to a negative fx should exist. The second one is limit x approach to a positive fx should also exist. The third part is both the two limits should be equal. So limit x approach to a negative fx should be equal to limit x approach to a positive fx so that we will call that limit to be exist and we will write it as limit x approach to a fx. And then the fourth one and the last one is this limit x approach to a f x should be equal to f of a. So for the function f, function f to be continuous at a point a where this function has to be defined in the neighborhood of a including at a is said, is said to be continuous if the left hand limit, the right hand limit are both existing and are equal and then the overall limit is equal to f of a. So for a function f to be continuous at a point a, all the four conditions has to be satisfied. Therefore, a function f will not be continuous at a point a if at least one of these four conditions is not satisfied. That means if the left hand limit or the right hand limit does not exist or are not equal or if they are equal they are that the overall limit is not equal to the function value at that point. So there are different cases which give rise to when we call a function is not continuous and because of the different cases we have the different type of discontinuities. 
so we shall study all those types of discontinuities one by one but we shall go from top to bottom sorry so from bottom to top we shall first study this case and then the other cases so here we have the types of discontinuities for that let me go up and let me write down the heading with red ink so here it is types of discontinuities the first one which we shall take is this when the limit exists but it is not equal to f of a this type of uh, singularity we call it as uh, removable singularity so here we have the first one which is known as the uh, removable singularity sorry removable discontinuity and in this we have a limit x approach to a fx exists but then it is not equal to the function value of f at that point a why it is known as a removable singularity or discontinuity that will be apparent to you just in some in a few minutes but in order to understand this better let us consider an example so here it is an example as an example we shall consider fx equals sin x by x when x is not equal to 0 as 2 when x equal to 0 This is a function. So, if we look at the limit x approach to zero of this function f x, that is same as limit x approach to zero of sine x by x. We can do it by L Hospital's rule. That will be equal to limit x approach to 0 of this is cos of x divided by 1 that is equal to cos of 0 that equals 1 so limit x approach to 0 of fx equals 1 but we see that f at 0 f at 0 is defined to be 2 f at 0 is defined to be 2 so f of 0 is equal to 2 and therefore we see that limit x approach to 0 fx is not equal to f at 0 and hence this function has a discontinuity at 0 and this discontinuity we call it as a removable discontinuity the question is how the graph of the function look at a point where it has this where it has this removable discontinuity in order to see that let us have the graph of sine x by x in order to look at the graph of this function let us have the coordinate system this is the coordinate system this is x axis this is y axis now we see that and this sine x by x will be equal to 0 at pi because sine becomes 0 at pi and minus pi so if this is suppose minus pi and this is suppose pi then at these two points it becomes 0 and this is suppose 1 and this is 2 and then we see that at pi minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 it will be something it will be uh, here and here and if we look at if we take the point is between 0 and minus pi and then 0 and pi the graph look like something to be in this way
but then at 0 it is not defined as 1 at 0 it is defined as 2 so there will be a hole at 0 like this and a point here let me have different color for this let me choose this color because at 0 it is defined as 2 let me make it a bit big and like this then from here it goes like this sorry we see that as this x increases sin x is always lying between minus 1 and plus 1 so it will never be greater than 1 so as x increases greater than 1 say 2 3 4 5 6 that it will be something less than 1 or equal to 1 divided by greater than 1 so it will come out to be close to 0 so as x goes on increasing towards left or towards right this graph will come out to be close to 0 and as this x goes to infinity this graph will almost coincide with this x axis so that limit of x goes to infinity this sign x by x will be equal to 0 we shall discuss this later on first let me show this graph with the help of grapher so here it is we see that the function gets here it is 1 but here it is a not actually here it goes 2 so here it goes down 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 and then from here it goes close to zero here also gets down and gets close to zero let me zoom it a bit let me do it in this way so you see that ultimately this line then goes on touching the x-axis from this side and from this side earlier it was like this and then we would and we would take the larger values we see that this graph goes on touching the x axis so this is it but here what's our point is that we see that at 0 the function has a discontinuity because the limit is not equal to the function value and we see that at 0 the function behaves like this there's a hole at 0 the function is smooth from here and from here but at 0 there's a hole this point has shifted and has gone somewhere here so at movable singularity what actually happens is at that point uh, one of the points leaves its place and goes somewhere else it goes to 2 it would have been 1 if you if you take this point and get it back here at 1 then x at 0 sorry f at 0 will be equal to 1 so that f of 0 will be equal to 1 and then the limit will be equal to the function value at 0 but what has happened this function has left its place and it has went from 1 to 2 so when there is a removable discontinuity the graph of the function is smooth but that at, but then at that point uh, one point has left the place and has gone somewhere else we can get this point and get it back to its own place so that the function becomes continuous again what i mean to say is that we can redefine this function f x to be equal to same thing sin x by x when x is not equal to 0 
and one which is same as limit x approach to zero sine x by x at x equal to zero. So if we take this point and get it back to its own place which is here so that the function f x is one at x is equal to zero then ultimately the limit at zero of this function becomes equal to the one which is the function value at that point so that the function will become continuous at that point. And since we can remove this discontinuity by redefining this function as limit of the function at that point, that's why this is known as the uh, removable discontinuity. So that's it for this video. In the next videos, we shall be explaining the other types of discontinuities. But for that, stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.